Welcome to lesson 1.2, Angle Measures and Angle Bisector on page 24. Um, let's see here on <coughs> this page, if you explain one section, um, it doesn't give you very much um, information on how to do this. So I'm going to take us through it for a second here. Um, for question number one, they want us to draw two rays with Q as its vertex. So the important thing here when drawing an angle is that the vertex is at the center of this naming convention P, Q, R, where Q is in the middle. So if we draw two rays, right? There's one ray, here's the second ray, here's Q, and then this can be P, and this could be R, right? So there's the way you can draw P, Q, R. You could also have put um, P over here and, um, and R over here, right? So that was your other option. All right, question number two, this angle can, can be named as um, LKJ, JKL, angle one, angle K. So they kind of provide the answers there for you, but uh, I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that there's four different ways you can name this angle. Okay, but notice that K is in the center of these two versions of the naming convention. And Look at this, even angle one and angle K are there because they are in the center, or at the vertex, sorry, of, of that angle. So uh, just something to be aware of, because I see so many times where, where people will not put the K in the middle and, and they'll just call it K KLJ or, or some something uh, like that. So uh, just be aware of that um, and be careful when you're when you're naming these, uh, these angles. All right, so. Here uh, on your turn, question number one, name angle two in as many different ways as possible. Obviously angle two, because that's what they stated, but you can al also call this as angle A, E, B, where E is the vertex, whoops. Or you can also call this angle B, E, A, where E is still the vertex. And then question number two, without seeing a figure, give another name for angle M, K, G. So what you can do is if this is M, K, G, you can again uh, go the other way around. So you can also call this G, K, M. Okay, so that's the other way you can uh, call that angle. All right, so measuring angles. So there's uh, four types of angles that they're going through here. Acute angle where the angle is less than 90 degrees. A right angle where it is equal to 90 degrees. An obtuse angle where it's greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. And then a straight angle that is um, that's greater, or sorry, equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so in your turn, definition of a right angle, they want you to draw one first. Kind of silly, because right above there's one right there. But definition of a right angle, an angle that is 90 degrees. And then definition of a straight angle, it's just a straight line. Um, an angle, oops, an angle, an angle that equals 180. Okay. All right, last page for this video. Name all the angles, uh, name all the right angles and uh, straight angles in this given image. So right angle, there's one right here, obviously. Uh, we're going to use that naming convention we learned, C, F, so there's a right angle. You could also call this, remember, D, F, C. <coughs> and even though it's not uh, drawn on here, right, we can also assume this side is, is also a right angle because it's on the same line, the line A, D. So we're going to call it angle A, let's see, A, F, C, and angle C, F, A. Okay. Straight angles. Okay, so there's two straight angles here. Um, there's angle AFD, which you can also call DFA, but I'm, I'm not going to do it um, here really. But the other one is going to be DFE or BFE. Sorry, BFE. Angle BFE. All right, and you, again, you could call it DFA or angle uh, EFB. All right. Question number four. Um, each angle can be found in the rigid frame of this bicycle. I don't think it's for every bicycle, just this 
specific bicycle that they happen to to place here. Use a protractor to find each measure for uh, numbers four and five. So here's a simple drawing of a protractor that I, I picked. So I'm gonna put the protractor right here where the vertex is right in the center there. And then let's see, um, you know what I should do? I should actually, we want this line to be a little bit longer, but just so we can tell which uh, angle measure we're working with here. So again, I'm going to put it right there. You can tell by look. So if we zoom in here, we're right at about 140-ish, right? Um, or sorry, not not 140-ish. Um, right here, about 40 degrees. You see that right there? So we're going to say, uh, let's say, 40 degrees. Okay. All right. So let's pick up our protractor here and take it over here and um, I'm going to actually spin this protractor a little bit to match right to the center uh, to match that line right there okay so um, I match it as best as I can there you'll see though right that this line here is going to be right about here right a hundred degrees um, and we know that it's 100 degrees because it's past 90 and gotten to this line right here. So we're going to say uh, about 100 degrees there. 